Okay, so day one of me and Kay's epic cross-country adventure to Nashville. We are in San Diego, state of the Hard Rock. Meet and greet was epic. So what are we doing this morning? What's the first thing? Get the cats. <laughs> All right, so we need to go get some cats. Oh my God, they're still playing Christmas music. So it is the 27th. It's 27th today? Yeah, yeah. And they're still playing Christmas music. Santa's not real. <laughs> Hey, good morning. I love express chain. All right, let's get the valet to bring the car around and let's bounce. Man, did not get a lot of time in San Diego. It's quite pretty. It's like LA, but not as much of a mess from what I've seen, from what I've seen. So do you want to explain like why we're doing this while you're moving to Nashville? Uh, I'm kind of over California. I've been here longer than I've been anywhere. I used to move a lot, like around the world and stuff. I came to California to chase the dream. I feel like I've gotten to a level of success where I no longer need to be in California. So I am now moving elsewhere to somewhere more affordable and somewhere where my friend group and network is at, and that's Nashville. So super excited for the next year and the future of my music as well as my videography career. Links to which are down below in the comment section. But first, we need to go to your roommates. Yes. To go get the cats. The cats. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much all the stuff loaded. As you can see back here. So Kay's actually bringing their cats. So we, we need to stay at pet-friendly hotels along the way, which apparently there's a chain. There's a chain of pet-friendly hotels. I can't remember what they're called though. But yeah, I'm super excited and also kind of nervous to, to drive on the right side of the road. But I need to do it anyway because they do that in Europe as well. So I just need to get used to it. Mainly highway miles. I think we're doing Route 40 or something like that. Also got the GoPro set up. For when we start driving. Also went to go see uh, Spider-Man No Way Home and me and Kay were like emotional messes by the end of it. It was like everything as a Spider-Man fan, as a very long, I'd say a lifetime Spider-Man fan, is literally everything I ever wanted out of a movie. It's, it was perfect. It was so good. It was so good. And when I get back to the UK, I will be going to watch it again. Kitties. Kitties. We have one that's gonna cry the whole time. This is Phantom, as you can hey. see. And Pepper is the quiet one. He's a whiny boy. But I got you a big crate that I'm gonna put you in right now. You're gonna love it. Your own ride. No, not under the chair. Go in there. There you go, dude. The controls on this car are so sensitive. I know. Like both the brake and the gas yeah. are like super, super sensitive. sensitive. Oh my God. Look, the only roundabout. I was literally about to say that there's a roundabout here. Speedway. Woo! This is my local speedway. Welcome. Getting some snacks for the road. Hot dog. dog. Can I eat that dog? <laughs> oh, they don't even have the Red Bull out. Oh wait. Yes. No. Nope. They, they don't. They do yes, Red Bull. No. Nope. They don't have the one I want. They What's... only have the pomegranate. But pomegranate's nice. Big daddy. Oh, big daddy. Big, big daddy. <laughs> oh shit! Flips. Yeah, I was literally looking at those. Hello. Hi. Well, now, how are you this morning? Doing very well. How are you doing today? Doing well. I'm in Nashville, so it's the last time I'm here. Hit it too many times. Is that you? Are you honking at me? What was you? I didn't honk. You honk. I did it. <laughs> So me and Hick Pete here going to Best Buy going to pick up some SD cards because I'm going to run out of space. Ain't no doubt about it. Hope these kind folks had a good Thanksgiving. Oh, I want the lights. I want the lights. I want the lights. Oh, I got these. I got the big one of I these. I want the big ones. So I got these ones here, then I'll leave. Oh, 
Oh my god. They're amazing. What? So the SD cards are at the back here yeah. and they're actually like locked. So we need to get someone to get them for us. Gosh darn it. So what the hell is an Albuquerque? What's an Albuquerque? It's just a, I felt like it was like, if we could knock out like 11 hours the first day, we yeah. could get to Nashville faster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I mean, we've got to do something when we get to Albuquerque. Yeah, so but it's like... going to be like 11 o'clock. Well, if we get there tonight and stay there tonight, I'm sure we will have time to do something in the morning. Well, it's not like we're touring because when we were sure. on tour in the UK, we had like this crazy tight sketch. Yeah. So to the point where we were eating McDonald's like 2 a.m. Do you remember that? <laughs> it was 3 a.m. It was at 3? It was 3 a.m. There was like no food. No food. And uh, luckily there was like a McDonald's across the road that was still open. And we literally finished the London show. I think at like midnight. Yeah. Because it was a late one. And then by the time we got back and like you compiled all of the footage and shit like that, we were just looking at each other like, we didn't eat today. Oh, I so badly want to ride a sports bike through here. Do you know what I noticed as well, like flying over the US? Because the way we flew over, uh, by the way, uh, cue the UFO that I shot. Oh, f Isn't that the most insane shit? I finally have a UFO. I have always wanted to catch a UFO on camera my entire life. My entire life. And, and then, it. yeah, and like, whenever I've flown, ever since I was a kid, I always used to look out the window and be like, if I'm ever gonna see a UFO, now would be the time. Because like, I'm in the sky, I can see everything above the clouds. So I'd always like, intently, intensely look out the window to see if I could see a UFO. Never saw one. And, and like, I was like, what, six, seven hours into my flight, into my 11 hour flight, and I'm, I'm like, just looking out the window, I'm like, wonder where the hell we are. I was in and out of sleep, and I look, and we're in northern Canada, Hudson Bay. I saw it a, a while away at first, and I was just like, that's something weird, but it's never a UFO, so I'm, I'm just, I'm not interested. But the more I watched it, the faster it got, and I'm like, I'm getting my phone out, I'm gonna film this just in case it is something weird. And sure enough, and you can see in the footage, it was going faster than the plane. It was slightly below us, because it looked, at first it looked like it was in the water, but it, you can see it's not. And then like, it's going crazy fast, crazy fast. And then it just stops. And then I get a really clear shot of the fact that it's, it's a orb. It's just a white sphere. But the lens blurs and it vanishes. And I never saw it again. But what, what I was saying was whenever I flew, whenever I was flying, because we flew from like the top, each state changes dramatically. What business does the desert have being so close to like high amounts of precipitation? Like when we drive through New Mexico, you'll see like the red rocks, which are sick. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Dine-in, take-out, shit all night, yep. no extra charge. No. That is the hugest American flag. Oh my god, that flag! It's so big it can't even blow in the wind. Right? The this, this city's to our left, it's over here. Yep, over yonder. Crate, it's closed, 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 closed. Thai food, everything is closed. Why is everything closed? Pizza. This Italian place has 4.5 stars. Let's go get it, I guess we're getting Italian. All right, Italian food this. Italian. Six hours in, Italian food rest stop. Let's yes, do this. Let's go. Oh. It's like one of the last. Do you know which way it was? I it, think it's like. I think it's this. I think it's way. this way. Hey, dude, we got, got it. Ticket. We found it. We found it. So we're getting food in. Uh, or is this place called Mancurio? Man uh, Mancuso's. Mancuso's. And uh, we're trying to decide whether or not we should commit to the Albuquerque thing today because it's another six hours of driving, which we've already done. We've already done six hours today. And this will be my six hours of driving. We were thinking about staying in Phoenix, but we want to like get the biggest chunk done today. If we can. I'm not opposed to staying in Phoenix tonight because Phoenix is dope and we're already downtown Phoenix. So, thanks. Thank you. We're gonna commit to the Albuquerque thing. Yeah. Stay in Albuquerque and then have a more chill driving the next couple of days. Yeah. Plus, it gives us plenty of time to find like a nice hotel that allows pets. Alright, so change of plan. 
We're actually gonna be staying in Phoenix tonight because the idea of another six hour drive is insane. Yeah. So. And we've got cats that we've got don't need cats. to be in the car for 12 hours. Yeah, probably just the end of tonight and we'll pick up tomorrow for the drive to Albuquerque. See you tomorrow. Okay, it is the next day. Still in Phoenix. Just need to go get the luggage cart so we can put all the stuff back in the car. Pretty decent night's sleep. The room is the same size as the room that we had in the Hard Rock. So that was cool. But we've been getting one room with two twin beds just to save on like having to get two rooms every time. And there's my morning alarm. You're doing great, fantastic. I've never seen such amazing, efficient packing in all my days. I really think Kate can bring home the gold this year. Oh my god, why are you guys so happy? Oh, what's the deal with that? <laughs> Alright, so me and Kay are actually hungry as shit this morning. Yeah, surprisingly. Because all we ate yesterday was like sour pouch gummies and like uh, beef jerky and Red Bull. We realized why we crashed at 8 p.m. Like, <laughs> what's going on, man? Why are we tech? Because we ate like shit. So we're getting a Denny's this morning, starting off the day. And I know people are gonna be leaving comments being like, if you want the best day, best way to start the day, don't get Denny's. <laughs> I love Denny's, okay? Back off. Yeah, but first we need to go to the dealership that we got the rental car from because I need to do driving today and I'm not, I'm, I'm not on the insurance yet. So I need to go sign up so I can be on the insurance so then I can drive. Go taxi, go taxi, go! Jesus. Come on, dude. Green. Oh my god, I'm gonna wreck your shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we are at the dealership. Hopefully, they'll allow me to drive. Is the Denny's everywhere? Just a fucking oh my Denny's god, so many around. Denny's. How long do you have car? Uh, until the second, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Awesome, thank you. Thanks very much. There's a place called Serial Killer Breakfast Bar. Have you been there? Serial killer breakfast bar? I didn't know we had that. Oh, <laughs> oh it, it's a 2.0. I don't think we should go there. Ooh. <laughs> Seems pretty rough. Yeah. Breakfast time. Ooh, a mango smoothie. I want all of it. Oh, damn. I want this. I want this right here. <laughs> oh, what happened? The whole chair went like this. <laughs> One burger is 1,500 calories. No, all American slam. What are you getting? I'm getting the super bird. The just super a, bird? A turkey, super bird. Oh, Tur super bird. Turkey sandwich. Going for a more of a brunch kind of situation than breakfast. Yeah. It's not, I feel it's like. not brunch for sure. Where's <laughs> Daddy? <laughs> Well, Denny's was awful. It was so bad. It was so bad. <laughs> Why did we do that? I couldn't even eat my food. It was so bad. Oh, Christ. Like, I have a box of food I'm going to throw away. <laughs> Alright, so I'll do some driving. Do you do that now? Or? I'll, yeah, because if I do a bit of day driving now, then when I drive at night, it'll be easier. Sideways in the desert. I mean, my dad did say to check the weather. Oh my god.
okay, he's just gassing up again. We made it to Albuquerque, so that's the six hour drive done. We don't know if we're gonna stay here though. We're wondering if maybe there's another town or city because we just wanna get as much driving done as possible. So we're gonna pull up after we get gas here, have a look at the map and see if there's anywhere better that we can stay for the night. You don't wanna stay? Can you hear that? I'm out here, I can hear People <laughs> arguing. Talking and, to each other. Yeah. <laughs> Just chatting. Aggressively. Talking about money now. Oh jeez. Right, let's get out of here. Alright, so we've made a decision. We are going to Amarillo. Texas! And then we're gonna see how we feel when we get there. I would like, like, it'd be cool if we got there because we could like spend like a little time in the morning there. Yeah, because then we would've done extra miles today. We would've done extra miles today. Yeah. So we agreed that we'll get to Amarillo first and then yeah. see how we feel about going to Oklahoma after that. So we made it to Amarillo. So it's been 10 hours on the road. I did two, Kay did eight. Absolute machine. It is time to get a hotel. I'm sleeping here tonight. And then we're gonna do it, what, like another 10 hours tomorrow? Yeah, probably. We're gonna hit Oklahoma pretty early tomorrow. Yeah. So we go see your high school. My high school. <laughs> That'll be Sick. fun. Sick. Right, let's go to a hotel. Perfect. Oh, well, I wanna go to Hoover, see some nice girls. Yo, there's like a little kitchen in this yeah. one. Okay, so we're gonna sleep and then we're gonna do a 10 hour drive tomorrow. We should be in Nashville tomorrow, right? Uh, so I just checked the maps, it says 13. 13 hours? I think we could do it. We did 10 It's today. only I'm three more hard. hours than we've done today. Oh. We could do it. Do Lots it. of Red Bull. And yeah. if I take over driving, should be able to do it right. Yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, good morning. It is the next day in Texas. We're gonna go get some toothpaste because we stupidly left it in... Oh, I don't know what, what this we is. Oh, I stupidly... Well, it was your toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, left in San Diego. Shit. Yeah, we're also going to IHOP right now. We're gonna try another breakfast spot. Hopefully this one's not Denny's. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, big yeah. chunky face, I like it. Suck my dick! Suck my dick! You got your box of chicken? Yeah! It was so much better than Denny's. It was so much better than Denny's. Fuck. Oh, it's so great. Oh, that was incredible. Thank yeah. you, IHOP. <laughs> for being better than I remember. Alright, so we're going back to the hotel. We just got to CVS. We managed to remember all the things we needed to get. I also got this, which I've never seen in my life. Alright, so we're going back to the hotel to pack, and then we're heading to Oklahoma. So Kay's going to be driving to Oklahoma, and then we're going to be at senior high school. Yep. Then, I'll be driving us to Arkansas, where we will most likely be staying the night. Yes. And then we'll be hitting Nashville early the next day. Holy Ghost Hotline? You shit me? We're at my high school. Yeah, you got space. I'm not moving the car. <laughs> it's about 1K space. <laughs> so we have decided that we are staying in Arkansas for tonight because there'd be nothing when we got to Nashville. All right, let's get this shit. Wait, you need a luggage card? Yeah, we need a luggage card. All right, let's go in and yeah. both find and out where it is. shut your door. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. Oh, there's a pool. And then we can grill burgers. Yeah, there is isn't like an outdoor grill here. I can't wait to see our room. It's gonna be hard to beat the one that was in Texas because that was like an apartment. Yeah, that was sick. That was awesome. There's the cats. Reptiles. Reptiles. That is the case. Jake's a dick. Yeah, it is true. <laughs> a giant. The rumors are true. Asshole. I'm excited to uh, be in Nashville tomorrow. It's gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. We actually spoke to some strangers who I give the Twinkie to, <laughs> and they were like, "Nashville's awesome," and he's only living here because his family lives here, but he, he misses it intensely. That makes me feel very excited. And we're doing a meetup in Nashville for you too. Yeah, we're doing a meetup. Should be meet fun. And greet Nashville for for me and. Most likely you too. Oh, you know. People are gonna know you. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> holding, holding presents. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, service. <sighs> Second floor. 
Watch this be the last room in the hallway. Because it's been the case everywhere. Every single hotel, it's always been the last one. Two, two, four. I have a feeling that we are correct about this. Yeah, because it, it's the last number on the fucking sign. <laughs> Look how long this hallway is. <laughs> I'm already over it. God damn. Every time. Every single time. <laughs> I'm happy with this. It's got a kitchen. Yet another time, my cat has decided to hide within the bed. My cat has a tendency of like ripping fabric off the bottom of things and getting inside of the thing. Now she's behind this bed. Yeah, I got her ass. Got a cat. You having fun, the kid? It's just... Yes. Oodles of fun! Bunches! So we were standing outside and I was having a cigarette and some dude walked past and I was just like, hey man, you know any decent places we can get some eats around here? He was like, for a matter of fact, I do. He said, I'm about to open one up. He's about to open one up. He owns a, he owns a taco joint, <laughs> literally a block over. So we're gonna go get some tacos and then we're gonna Drive out to Nashville today. No more driving. Yeah, this little outside area looks cool in the day. You been it before? I don't know if I've been to this one, but if there's other ones, I feel like I've been to a Rock City Tacos. Wayfair. Let's go have a look inside. Yeah, let's go. Oh my god, Kay, this is Isn't sick. It sick. Are you kidding me? Look, I have a yard! <laughs> ah! Uh, yeah. Oh, this is sick. Oh, chill out. How many bedrooms is this place? Uh, two? Three? But then you have smell. I know. This is awesome! Oh, I'm gonna. Fire pit I'm things. gonna be like visiting you all oh, the time. Oh, this is sick. I'm the kitchen's bigger than time. I thought, so it looks super small in like photos. So now I have to decide where I want to put my room and where I want to put my office. Upstairs. Office? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think so too. Let's go upstairs! God, this is my house. Yeah, three bedrooms. I am very happy right now. Yeah, I'm happy for you. This like, is this, so sick. This place and is look awesome. look at this view. Like, this is so cool. You see the wow. Looking tight. Oh, we need to get... We don't have shower curtains uh. for the shower. What a trip. Yeah, it feels good not to be moving. So your stuff is not arriving for two weeks? Correct. We're gonna make a list and we're gonna see, we're just gonna pick up some like basics that you need. Yeah, uh, we need to go to the reptile store. Mm -hmm. We could just go to like Walmart. Yeah. That's yeah. probably the best. We need food, we need- Utensils. Pots and pans. Oh, shower curtain? Yeah, that's pretty much all we really need to get for now. And then there's also, we can see like what else is in there. Yeah. While we're getting this stuff. Yeah. I'm just impulse buy. It's my favorite kind of buying. Me too. <laughs> I love impulsive. All right, let's go. And then we went to Walmart where I didn't film anything, but I did buy Kay a brand new TV as a housewoman gift. But do you know what? Walmart sucks ass. We also went to a reptile store where Kay got some stuff for the reptiles. And the rest of the trip was pretty chill. Yeah, didn't really do much else. We drove through a storm trying to get a COVID test. The airport told us they had no idea how we could get a COVID test for the flight. Went to dinner with some new friends and also went to Sonic's a bunch for breakfast. And now we're getting Sonic's. Do not regret that at all. Oh, it also snowed while I was there. So you guys already know that it was a shit show trying to get back from Nashville, but I made it back in the end after a couple of days delay. Let me show you real quick some of the gifts that I got at the meet and greet in San Diego. A Starbucks gift card. Thank you very much. The next cup of joe is on me from Vanessa. Thank you. Thank you, Vanessa. Thank you. Let's read this real quick. Hey there, Jake. I'm so happy I got a chance to meet you. I have had good and bad days and you have been my go-to on YouTube for a good laugh. Thank you for being a hardcore influencer on me. Happy holidays, Vanessa. P.S. I showed up last minute, but I hope you enjoy the small gifts. Yeah, of course I do. Thank you so much. Man, it's like a giant... Butt plug. No, it's no, it's a giant Starbucks uh, thing. With, oh, with all this, all these gifts in it. A big, big coffee fan. So really appreciate that. And also hand sanitizer. Can't have too much of this. It's one of those cool selfie ring lights. They're pretty cool because there's no front, there's no front-facing light on phones. So this is very handy. I also got stuff in here as well. Oh, I could have used these. 
<laughs> I wish I had known these were in here. Got a Japanese grape drink. Thank you for this. What appears to be a skull wax candle. Super awesome. Bottle of water. Very handy. Bunch of little treats. And some cool devil horns, which I'm assuming were made by this person right here. So go check them out. So I'm super sorry about the meetup in Nashville. I'm so sorry I didn't go ahead. It was irresponsible of me to do it, so had to call it off. But back in the US, in Phoenix, end of March. And then beginning of April, I'm in Vegas, LA, Nashville again. What was my hair doing? Anyway guys, thank you so much for tuning in for this vlog. I had a great day today because I made it a great day. And I see all of you in the next video. Goodbye everyone. <laughs>